Okay, so this is going to be the second part of our two-part um, videos on solutions and dilutions. And so in part one, we kind of talked about solutions and concentrations and dilutions and their definitions and their importance and spent the majority of that video talking about dilutions. And uh, so this one we're going to be concentrating on solutions and kind of the nomenclature or the terminology related to solutions and how we make up solutions. So as we said last time, the kind of notion that kind of ties solutions and dilutions and all these things together are concentration and for this uh, discussion we're going to kind of use a mathematical formula, we're going to say the amount of solute over the volume of solution. Right? And we're talking about, again, volume of solution, not the volume of the solvent. Remember, the volume of the solution is going to be the solute plus the solvent. And um, so this solution is going to be kind of the total, um, the total volume of the solution. And so let's look at some of the different terminologies to say with the different kinds of solution. And we said percent solution. And this kind of information, I'm actually working off the kind of preamble if you look to the to the lab that you're doing on solution. So the first thing is percent, and when we think percents, we're thinking per hundred. Right? So if we had um, you know ten would be 10% of 100. Or if we had, say, 30 people in the classroom and 15 people went on a field trip, we could say that 50%, or 15 out of 30, 50% went on the field trip, 50% stayed. Uh, uh, but it's um, based on 100, and we'll see how we do that. And we're going to talk about a couple ways of one is volume to volume. And we say that that's V to V. And so these would be solutions where your solute would be in liquid form, typically. So you'd be adding amount of liquid to an amount of liquid. And so in the case I gave in the lab would be 5% volume to volume. So if we say put 100 in the denominator, so we say 100 mils, right? And so 5% um, is 5 100, so we would have 5 mils of solute to 100 mils of there again, solution. Remember, not solvent, because in the case of the volume of volume, the 100 mils is the total, so we would have 5 mils of the solute and 95 mils um, of it. So if we wanted to make 5% acetic acid, we would have 5 mils of the acetic acid and bring it to volume. Remember that, bring to volume to 100 mil. So it's 5 out of 100. Now, if you were wanting to make a liter, right, you would have to have 50 mils of the 500. Because remember, it's going to be a percentage, it's going to be a proportion. So if you take it to 100, if you base it on 100 and then do your proportion for whatever volume solution you're wanting to make, um, then 
that will work for you. Now, the other would be weight to volume, right, or WV, right, and that would tend to be when your solute would be a solid, and, there, and then again your um, um, solution would be water or ethanol, what um, your um, solvent is. Um, so the example I gave was 7% weight to volume, right? So in this case now, the percentage, we're going to say 7 grams of solute or 100 mils of solution. And so our rationale for this is, if you recall, we take the um, mass of water and gram per mil. So this 100 mils is 100 grams, but we're still calling it 100 mils. So it's 7 grams per 100, 7%. And there again, if you want to make a liter, it would be proportionally tenfold more, so you'd have to have 70 grams per liter. So think in sense that it's based on this 100 mils of total volume of solution. Okay, so B, our um, second way of talking about concentration of solutions would be molar solutions. And of course, we're talking about concentration in terms of molarity. And right, so remember we had this Molarity is moles per liter. Right. So, in this case, if we had a 3.5 molar solution, right, we would say that it would be 3.5 moles per liter, one liter of solution. Right. So in this case, if we were making a 3.5 molar solution, right, we would dissolve 3.5 moles of solute and bring to volume at one liter. Right. So that's our molar solution. And the third is what I just call direct notation. And, um, it's when you basically just have an amount for some volume. Right. So in a situation like this, it may say that you want a concentration write a little better than that concentration of 20 milligrams per mil. So if you were making one mil, you would just weigh out 20 milligrams and dissolve it, bring it to volume of a meal. Now, typically that's telling you your concentration, right, and it kind of lets you decide what kind of volume do you want, right? So if I wanted to make 100 mils of solution at a concentration of 20 milligrams per mil, right, 
Now I'd have to say 20 milligrams per mil times 100 mils. So I would need 2,000 milligrams, right? Or that's the equivalent of gram, right? 2,000 milligrams prompt to volume of 100 mils. So if we have 2,000 by 100, then that's 20 milligram per mil. So it gives you your recipe basically in terms of concentration. It's like the one previous said if you wanted 3.5 molar solution, the definition is 3.5 moles per liter. If you're making more or less of that, then you have to adjust for that. Your recipe is given in the concentration, 3.5 moles per liter. Okay. Percentages, right, taken to 100. And then what uh, I just called the kind of direct notation is it is, it'll tell you what um, uh, weight you have per volume. So our lab panned out has a couple of